Hello, okay here I would like to show you how uh, programming of FFA roulette computer can be done easy. Like on this picture, uh, the FFA board also has got uh, like socket as this one where we can plug cable from programmer and programmer can come with preloaded software, all you need to do plug it there and the uh, other side of programmer plug to USB just to get power, you don't need any software. Programmer has got inside, you press bat button on programmer and that's it, that's all it's needed to program it. But if you have programmer and if you install software like this uh, on your computer you can also read from FF. This is a program of FF you can see it's a big program and all it's in hexadecimal coding and uh, here it's actually data that FF saves with new program I thought I'll need less but actually it's using about 90 variables uh, not 90 registers, some are using for 2, maybe 50, I don't know something like that, 60 some are double like um, ball timings and uh, roto timings and uh, setups and things like that and uh, if you have program like this also you can program put any program, load here program, if I supply you with one you can enable here and you can connect it with FF and write it you can disable this part and you can use just this one to read your data how you do that, what I did here is oh, I lost it, I clicked like this part here, it's actually ball rotations for setup like 2E2, 3, 6, 9, 3DC, 4, and it goes up, down, and then starts here. I didn't do many, I just did 10 for sample. And, uh, but what is 3DC? Uh, we can look here, number, each one represents like 256 milliseconds. Actually, every system uh, works and calculates data in milliseconds. So here it's sample with Excel. We put data from FF, it's in hexadecimal, 1F. 2, which is actually 498, Excel converts it automatically, so we can see last clock rotation is 2156, that's not actual data from uh, this one, it's something I was using earlier, and then if I click on this line from the graph, it's actually data from FF, and we can see how it looks, maybe we can fix a little bit, just change it a little bit more if we want to, but that's not so important, it wouldn't make, um, most of the time I test, every, I got everything alright, but you can also test your own way, and uh, also this data we can say, uh, here we can put file, export hex, we can import, if I give you program, you can export this what you read, you will not be able to read this part, everything will be zero, so if you're programming back you must disable this one and just program read this one and program this one and then uh, for example you can uh, do this one, program it and then you can just restore it uh, from the system also maybe it's in this like area here, it's your settings, what you're really playing bits will, will be set there, this, area, this one here and here it's actually defining when you now will be, you can edit little bit time or deduct from there it wouldn't affect your prediction except offset uh, like here you have a how many spins you want a clock here is a, it count predictions, how many predictions you had, it can count up to 256 if of this register it's got uh, 256 it can be like FF, see I can change it I can change it at any place, so for example if I want to change this rotation to make a little bit bigger I can change it to 2 to like 5 D D F and uh, that's it so I uh, we read this registers 0 0 10 2 but this one is 0 0 0 0 here it's 0 1 on top 0 2 0 3 Da -da 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 -da, up to 9 and then comes A, B, C, D, E, F that's how registers are counted everything is hexadecimal so if we look um, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 
and then comes here it's actually my ball clockings what I did and here it's the rotor clocking these two it's very fast rotor we said one is a 200 ah it's different calculation for rotor I'll have to explain that to you um, what else that's it so you can edit that you can read you can understand that and you can reprogram it if you like if you receive upgrade you can do it by yourself you don't need to send the system back it's much easier because I don't really like to go to post office